So you can see all space is, uh, is fully utilized. Uh, this containment structure was actually set up to handle 51 U-racks, uh, and there was different uh, as a max height, I should say. And then there's uh, a Venetian blind structure above them if you had lower U-racks, if you wanted to put a 42U or 48U, uh, relatively adjustable, 24 or 30 wides, whatever you need uh, to be able to come down and touch the rack. As you can see, uh, those of you that, that are familiar with different racks, those are uh, four different racks from four different manufacturers uh, sitting side by side uh, and being able to uh, maintain the containment integrity. Uh, the end of row doors are uh, actually only adding about an inch and a half to the aisle length. That was one other requirement. They didn't want to have to encumber the, uh, the main aisles that went uh, north and south in the facility. They wanted to be able to uh, keep all the space uh, available for IT equipment uh, as part of the original launch. So we really trimmed up the profile of this product. There's a close-up look of uh, what, what's on top of the cabinets, uh, as well as a little bit of a look of the fully vertical blanking. Uh, and again, those are all adjustable, as well as the uh, vertical blanking. They, they come off uh, the frame in roughly 45 seconds. Uh, for, a, for four pieces, they're six inches in, uh, in width. Some of them are adjustable in height. Some of them are adjustable in width. Uh, and uh, they'll close up all the different gaps you can take a look at some of these features sitting in the booth uh, at, in the show, but the whole idea was to get back to that 3%. And again, that 3% was actually uh, you know, a tough number to hit because it, it really begins to uh, matter around, you may have a seal of a couple of joints, like blanking panels in your rack. And you may be able to put many blanking panels in your rack, but that gap in between can actually uh, uh, push a lot of air through. And of course, obviously, if you have missing blanking panels. One of the other things uh, that we've um, been working on uh, with this client is around rack integrity. Everything I've been talking about is the uh, containment integrity. But believe it or not, as far as the system is concerned and the performance of the system, 60% of the containment integrity is up to the rack, not the containment system. So that 3% is around the uh, containment system itself, but fully populated. Uh, you know, really uh, have to drive good behavior to managing the rack and use of blanking panels uh, and, and containing the rack as best as possible. This is the, the other side of that structure. Obviously, this whole facade, uh, like I was mentioning, can come off and grow and, uh, and march down the, uh, the data center as required. Uh, the vertical blanking are much like uh, uh, blanking panels you'd put in a rack. They come off individually. If you wanted to put a 24 in, uh, 24 wide, take off four of them. You want a 30 wide, take off uh, five of them. Uh, and they can come in different lengths depending on matching the types of racks, uh, as well as expandable ones if you have odd size racks. Gives it just a little bit more flexibility. So one of the other things, uh, we, are, we are here today. We're at booth uh, 227. Uh, come see the uh, independent containment system. I know I, I went fast, so I just wanted to be able to get to a uh, to Q and A. Uh, and uh, one of the things that that we've actually been using quite effectively is uh, the duct calculator. Anybody uh, has seen this? It's been a tool that's been around for most MEs for forty some odd years, uh, but still very viable in a uh, in a containment system. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and open it up to questions. All our hot aisle and cold aisle and containment systems, whether they be freestanding or rack integrated, and we have, we have both, this happens to be the independent, have the capability to do uh, one of two things as far as fire goes. Uh, number one, uh, all the uh, top Lexan is, uh, can be tooled on site. You can drill a hole, drop a, uh, a fire suppression head into the aisle without much problem, or uh, we have uh, universal mounting. Uh, a lot of our clients will actually mount a, a, you know, a Vesda run or a, uh, a pipe inside the aisle, uh, and the system is capable of supporting that weight. The typical height uh, of this one is normally up to 51U. Uh, so 
you know, overall, that's the, that's the tallest one that we would normally see. There are some talking around 52U, but uh, as far as the run rate of, uh, of containment, it's normally up in the higher U space because they're trying to capture as much IT space as possible. Uh, and the higher, uh, the taller cabinets were historically taboo because uh, you would just push more U space into that stratification layer in a typical data center. So now uh, you can see the advent of, uh, of higher racks. Of course, there's an ergonomic issue with the higher racks of getting the humans to put something up in the 50 second U, uh, but uh, eliminating that, uh, the containment system is viable from 42U all the way up to 52U, and, and as well as a mix in between. Uh, as far as the design goal, it, now as far as the supply temperature in a cold aisle, we like to see that somewhere in the, uh, in the 72 range, uh, in the hot aisle, uh, looking for a 20 degree or 25 degree uh, uh, rise out of that. So in the, in the mid-90s, not unrealistic. Uh, as far as the products that we use uh, to make any of this, including the, uh, the, the fan type systems, well over 100. If I want to minimize it, it's, it's as short as six inches uh, above the tallest rack that you want to put in there. And then, of course, I can extend it up as, as high as you want. With, with All the chimneys that we make are, are normally uh, adjustable. As you can see, the ones on there that I displayed, they were more in the five-foot tall range. They had a 15-foot uh, um, deck to get to. And you know, that would be uh, an application where you would have uh, you know, probably a, a lower ceiling uh, in a return plan I'm already set up. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you just, you just want to be cautious about uh, you know, how much air uh, that you want to pull out. You know, that type of, uh, of HVAC system that you'd be mixing that with, you want to be cautious that you don't put all your negative pressure in one aisle. That would be you. That would be the only buyer beware about that. 